Hey everybody, you know, some of us have kind of a, you know, a huge stash or sickness of, as you will say, of uh, buying more kits than we can build. And um, it seems like it's part of the hobby to just buy kits and enjoy kits. And, uh, and it always seems like we're always buying more than what we build. And it, it, that is so true with me as well. I end up getting in the last since the last shop update I end up getting way too many more kits than what I should have and supplies so this is kind of going to be a little bit bigger of a video for a shop update I'm going to try to keep it quick but I do have a lot to cover I'm going to cover the most important stuff first is the stuff that I actually got from friends out there in the world of YouTube and uh, the most appreciative things as well. The first thing I end up getting in the mail today is from my buddy Sean at uh, Scale Car Model Guy channel. I think I got that in the right order. It is the decals for the the uh, Corona or <laughs> Corona. Oh, it's been a long day. The, the Lotus, uh, the Ford Cortina Lotus badges. I would actually need to have these. I really appreciate him sending them to me. Uh, we're going to do a buddy build later on. And Sean, when uh, you feel like you're ready to start that, just let me know. I will squeeze that into all the builds. I'll make room for it and we'll get going on that. I know you got a lot of other builds going as well. But thank you so much for this. I'm going to put this with the, the model kit. So that way uh, I don't lose it with all the other stuff I got. The uh, next thing I got is from buddy Keith at Keithar's Scale Models and RCs, I think his channel is called now. I, hopefully I didn't mess that up as well. Uh, we did a, a um, model swap, as you would call it. Uh, he sent me a kit that I was looking for and I sent him a kit he was looking for both that we couldn't get uh, where we're at so this is the Fujium Ferrari Super America it's a pretty cool Ferrari uh, I'm going to make a, uh, a few Ferraris been wanting to get more into those I did the one the F40 I have a uh, Testarossa. Um, Michael, you probably would like to have another one of those, wouldn't you? And, um, and then I got the Super America. And I've been looking for another one as well. And I actually got it. And I'll show you here after this one. But this one is from my buddy Keith. I am super happy you're able to send this one to me. Um, these are pretty cool. I'm not going to open up the boxes, but uh, this one is stuffed full of parts. It's a nice heavy box. So there's that. And to keep it with the Ferrari, I got this one the other day. This one I have not been able to see for under 70 bucks for a long time. I actually found this one for 30 some dollars. So I figured I'd jump on it. This one I'm going to make into a race car. I have the decals for the Crone Aviation team that actually races. They used to race in Grand Am and American Le Mans. Now that they merged, they race in IMSA. Not all the time. So, But they're the ones with the lime green Ferraris. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of body work for this. I am going to try something I've seen on YouTube where you use um, Malput or you use uh, epoxy clay or anything like that and you do the build outs on it and all that stuff so that is something i'm going to try with this one another one i found that i've been looking for for a long time is the old uh, monogram cop out and this one was actually factory sealed and it was actually dirt cheap compared to what i normally see it at so I had to jump to it. 
Got this from one of the trusted sellers on Facebook that I normally go through. I'm surprised I got it because normally these go so fast. Maybe all the people who wanted it finally got it, so now it's my turn to finally get it. But uh, I always thought that was a really cool, cool car. Then the other day, for Valentine's Day, the girlfriend took me to the um, hobby store and I actually found some cool ones I wanted. So I've been wanting this one for a while. I, so I finally got it, the 34 Slammer. I already had the Rat Trap, so I got that. So now I just gotta get those two to go together. Uh, they're all pretty cool kits. Got the 1986 Monte Carlo SS, the two-in-one. This is a car that my aunt always drove. Yeah. Her and my uncle had this car forever. They loved that car. And then it finally was getting pretty old, so they got rid of it. So I'm going to do it in that white, because that's what they had it in. Uh, I'll have to see if they got any pictures and see if that was the same pinstriping. I don't know if it is. I thought it was all black, but it's been quite a while since I've seen that one. I did this kit when I was young. Probably in 95 when it first came out. And uh, I don't know what it happened to that model. I probably uh, Firecrackers got it. Because I wasn't that great when I did that then. So I figured I'd give it another shot and do it. Uh, definitely not going to do the wild turquoise or purple color. I don't remember ever seeing them in that color. My dad had one of those. It was uh, black took all the badges off of it and that was a really sharp truck because it was like that so this one was at that model shop for quite a while and it was always on the top shelf and it was always a good price and I've always been want looking at it and thinking eh, I should get that well before I regret not getting it I'm I end up getting it so I made sure I came home with that one this time it's a pretty cool kit it is uh, molded in red I'll probably paint it in red. I don't really care much for the cleared over plastic look. It never works for me. So I'll end up having to do that. Uh, these ones came in the mail today. I haven't seen that kit. So I, I don't know if it's a new one or not. I don't think it is. But I had to jump on it because I never see this one out. That, that was always a pretty cool car. The uh, Mitsubishi GTO. It was always one that I used to used to snatch up on uh, Gran Turismo. And then a uh, little basic box truck, a Japanese box truck. So it's a small box truck so small that the headrests are mounted to the back of the cab I haven't done anything like this so I figured that would be kind of fun something different I might look and see if they have some race team decals or something and make it look like a pit truck this one I've wanted forever but not willing to pay the prices that you'll find them online well now I guess they brought them back so I'm seeing it everywhere so I had to make sure I got it. It was even at the uh, hobby shop I normally go to, which never really carries this brand of kit. So I was actually quite surprised at how far this one's going out. They must have noticed that a lot of people want this uh, trailer. So I had to make sure I got that. And it's a very nice detailed trailer kit. And um, it, it was out of stock for a long time. And then all of a sudden it popped up on my feed that it's back so I made sure I got it and I really jumped at it to get it and then I noticed it everywhere after I ordered it online but online I got it so much cheaper you can get some of the, the wing parts I already got this kit before and I think I've used all the wings out of it so I had to get another one and then I got this set of tires uh, I figured them were nice look, looking rims and were probably one of my favorite styles of the rims out there 
is the uh, split spoke and then you know a nice offset so got the deep dish so I would always call it and for kits this is the last one I don't think this is the last one I haven't showed you guys but it's the last one I'm gonna show you is the uh, Peugeot 206 the World Rally Championship car now when I was younger when this car was actually racing it was always my favorite car and uh, it's always funny you see this one as a rally racer and it's so sharp but then you see that car that is just the the base model or the you know the non-race car it is the ugliest car in the world but it does make a really neat race car especially for rally racing but uh it was one I've always I've been wanting been eyeballing it for a while at the store and uh, before it becomes unavailable I better get it I need to get um, a Mitsubishi Lance or something like that the rally version or the Subaru rally that way I'm not uh, missing out and then a couple other things I got uh, these are crimp beads and one of the people who make spark plugs and sell them the distributor kits they use these crimp beads they put the wires in and then crimp them a little bit of super glue I was going to try that but I think these are too small but I think they still will work for you know hose clamps or any other thing and you know even if I'm detailing parts I could probably use that to hold it in to somewhere so I think I'm going to use that. I got that off of Amazon. And then I got this assorted pack. It's a wire crimp set. And they range in different sizes. So some are smaller than others. But these size look perfect for velocity stacks. They're already flared. I have tried doing that myself. I think the tubing I had was too hard for doing it. They turned out, but these are going to be perfect. So these are made for putting braided wire in, and then you crimp them, and then you can use them in a screw terminal. But then you got these real small ones I can use for something. This size I probably can use for exhaust pipes. Even this size I can use for velocity stacks. You know, so I can actually use those for all that. And one thing I don't know if you guys have noticed in the local Hobby Lobbies is Mr. Hobby is showing up. So I wanted to try their cement. I haven't tried their cement. One thing I don't like is their cap is so tall it don't fit where my other ones do. But they have that. They have the dull coat, which I don't know why they don't have the clear coat. They had a couple other things, but they had probably about five things there that was Mr. Hobby brand. I was surprised to actually see in the local uh, Hobby Lobby. I know these have been around forever, but the gloss coat and the doll coat. Uh, my dad has a set that's super old, and I used the doll coat on one of the chrome pieces I had for the Impala. And it looks really good, so I figured I better get these. You never know, Rust Oleum might discontinue these like they're trying to discontinue the Model Masters, which is kind of stupid of them. The and then they had some other ones, they had steel, some chrome silver, and some aluminum. They're supposed to have been flat. I don't know if they are or not. I didn't really read. So, but I've been stocking up on them as well, because you know how they've been saying that those are going to be discontinued. After they see how well they're sell selling after everybody saying that they're discontinued, maybe they'll change their mind and keep those little jars. That won't be the first time I've seen that happen. Say they're going to discontinue something and then everybody buys the hell out of them and then they go, well... Obviously a lot of people like them. So hopefully that everybody going out and buying them is actually going to save that line of the little jars 
I doubt it will with a big corporation like Rust-Oleum. It's all about the bottom dollar. But if you watched the whole video, thanks so much. Really appreciate all the support. Thanks to all of the subscribers, even the non-subscribers if you viewed this video. Uh, give me a chance. It's free. Click that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up if you think I deserve it. But, you know, that's my addiction. So I got to voice it out. Now I got to find time to build all these and get them going. So until next time, guys, have a great one. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.